Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going over the questions that we had for the movie Big Night, which came out in 1996. So the first question here is, how does the narrative make use of the U.S. dream? So this is talked about in the movie by Secondo, and he is basically talking about that's the reason that he came to America, is to basically keep moving up in the world because he wanted to have this restaurant. Uh, he was talking to another owner of a restaurant named Pascal, and he's talking about how back in Italy, they couldn't really climb to have this restaurant be where they wanted it to be, or really just climb to be able to have a restaurant. But going to America, and with this US dream that they have, they were able to make, to climb the steps and have this big restaurant for them. Uh, the next question here is, uh, how is food portrayed with both restaurants? Now, in the movie, Pascal's restaurant is a bit more flashy and showy. Um, the first meeting that we have with Pascal is with him at a table uh, of his guests. Um, and he has a pan and he has it on fire. It's kind of like, whoa. Uh, it's showing how fun and entertaining that the food can be in. Basically, that's what the people go there for, as well as the taste of the food. Uh, when it comes to cooking with Primo back at the other restaurant, um, it's, it is more traditional. Um, in one of the first scenes, it's him making the ricotta and giving it to one of the guests and then being very confused why it's, not, why it's made of the ingredients it is, but it's just a more traditional recipe uh, that they have used back in Italy. So it's definitely a culture change for those people, and it's portrayed that way in the movie. Uh, the next question is the significance of the tipano, the timpano. So in the film, it's talked about how the timpano is a secret recipe that is from their home in Italy. So it's very special to the family and to Primo. He's the one that's making it. Um, it's treated with very delicate care in the movie. Right when they take the lid off of it to show it, they want to cut it, but they, they, they don't want to mess this thing up. This is a very special thing for them and their family. Um, and when talking about the article, it's uh, a representation of the Italian culture. Uh, that's what they are. Uh, they're Italians and that's, that's who they are in that meal that they're making. That's why they treat it with so much care. And it said that the food is nourishment for the soul. Uh, uh, when Primo is talking to Anne near the end of the film, he describes how uh, that the food is making you closer to God because she, and whenever somebody eats the food, they say, oh my God, it's so good. And that makes you closer to God. So it's a really nice touch to it as well with the culture. Next up is how does the final dinner sequence emphasize the importance of food in the narrative? So, again with Primo, he is making the majority of this food. He is getting help from his brother and his girlfriend. But Primo is the artist here. It's showing this artistry that he has made uh, throughout the film. Which ev with every uh, meal coming out, uh, it, there's a title card that pops up of what it is. And it's basically showing his creativity with making the food and his delicateness that he puts into it. Uh, this kind of weaves throughout the movie, not just with the final dinner sequence, but especially with that. Uh, whatever food he's making, he does make it with a lot of care and he wants to make it perfect and just how it was back then. Uh, last question is coming up will be, what role does the co consumer culture play in the narrative and in reality? So consumer culture can be perfectly summed up uh, when Secundo is meeting with Pascal because the restaurant is not doing good for Primo and Secundo. Uh, they have a month left uh, to pay up with their rent or else their, uh, their building will be foreclosed on. So they need this big night, title of the movie, to help them with this. And it's helped by Pascal who talks to Segundo and he says that first you give them what you want, what they want as the consumer, 
and then you can give them what you want. Because first to make the money to have an operational business, you need to give that consumer what they want with that consumer culture. And later they can mix in something such as the ricotta, which many people found a bit strange. But if they just take a second to try it and really delve deep into it, they'll know that it's a special meal and it's quite delicious actually. So Pascal definitely uh, helped him with that. Uh, that brings me to the end of these questions, and let's see you in the next video.